Hey everybody, it's Nathan Cool with NathanCoolPhoto.com and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make a shower pop. Now this is one of the most difficult things sometimes is shooting against glass and how do you do that? If you've ever done still photography and tried to shoot glass, you know you get reflections all over the place. Well when you do real estate photography it can get even worse. Not just from the windows, you can do a window pull, but what do you do inside of a shower? Because usually bathrooms are very small, you're going to get reflections of your tripod in there, or all kinds of dull colors because the, the glass could be treated, all kinds of weird stuff happens inside it. So anyways, I wanted to show you how I turn my photos into showers that pop, for instance, like this. Instead of something that's very dull, which of course would start out with something like this. So to get something that actually looks a little bit better, we're going to take a couple different steps. I'm going to show you two different examples, and it's really just a matter of adding some other flash into it. So it's very similar to other things I've done before. You've seen on other tutorials. I'm going to do a flambient blending, but I'm going to add in a little bit extra too to add that pop to it. So I'm going to go through all those steps, and if you want more uh, information on doing the flambient, you can watch some of my other videos, and it shows this process through doing other rooms and other things like that. But in this case, we're going to concentrate on fixing that problematic shower. Ready? Let's go. So here is our before shot that we have. This is the ambient layer that we'd be using. Now I've got two examples, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is the ambient out of it. And then this would be the flash shot. And you can see, yeah, it does look real flashy. And that can be fixed with a lot of that ambient if I were to mix it in. But look at the shower between the ambient and the flash. There's still not a whole lot of pop. So the trick to doing this, it's actually very simple, is all that you do is you flash in some extra flash on top of the shower. Now that's obviously looking too much flashy so we just want to add a little bit of that in there but it's a very quick process. Now I've got a more problematic shower to show in the second example but this is the easiest one to show since I was able to get very close to the shower and do this and let's go ahead and you can see I've got my bald alien looking head up here because it's uh, using a wide angle lens on this. So anyways just ignore me look at the flashes I'm not here to model but let's go ahead and go through the entire process to bring this into a poppy flash shower type picture. So first thing that I usually do is, you've seen me do this in other tutorials, I have a preset which does a lot of correction. You can see that brought up uh, a little bit. I go ahead and I go develop settings, copy settings. I copy all those settings. Now the reason I do this too instead of sync, you'll notice that for instance I don't have white balance checked and other things I might be doing to it. For instance I might copy these settings and then later I might go ahead and change the exposure and maybe up that exposure a little bit but I'm not going to do that. You'll see me do that in the second example. Next thing I'm going to do is take all the other pictures which is my flash shot, uh, my uh, shower flash shot and I also did a window pull probably didn't need it but I did it anyways what the heck and I'll show that in here too so I take all four of those you can see I've, I've highlighted all those at the bottom I just right click and go develop settings paste settings now one of the things you might ever notice when using um, Lightroom it has a little bit of a bug when you do this sometimes and you have to do it twice but anyways it's very rare in this case it didn't happen it seems to get stuck sometimes as it's processing and you have to go back and forth but you usually develop settings paste settings that'll do it just fine Fine. you can actually watch at the bottom it made the changes anyways without further ado right click on that go edit in open as layers in Photoshop okay and once again this isn't different really from a lot of the other videos that I've done before where now we're going over to Photoshop it's automatically loading these back and forth and I love being able to go back and forth between uh, Lightroom and Photoshop it makes this whole process a lot easier the workflow goes very smooth and of course that's all being now loaded in now the next thing I would do is usually auto align the layers. I'm not too worried about it in this case because I know for a fact that I had this guy really locked down, really didn't touch the camera much. So for right now, let's just go ahead and turn this layer off. So this is our ambient. We'll bring him back in just a second. So this is our flash shot. And we want to be able to now make that shower pop. So what we want to do is we want to take our flash layer. You can see I'm moving it over here on the, uh, on the right. I'm moving it up above our standard layer. And I'm going to add a layer mask and I'm going to hide everything. Now I can take a brush and I'm going to use a 10% flow. You can see it over here. And by the way, you want to go back and forth between like 10% and 100. All you have to do is go shift zero. You can see that that changed it to 100. And I can also go shift one and that brings it down to 10% flow. Now I like to use a little bit of a lower flow, but this will just do just fine. Now I'm going to reduce the size of that brush just a little bit and I'm going to start painting in. You can see I'm just painting in where I want that shower and I'm painting in all of it, just painting in just enough so I can get some pop to come out of it. You can see that's already better, see? 
Nice, very nice looking. So in other words, before we had this, very dull, and now we've got this. Now you can see also if there were any reflections, which there were originally, if we zoom in here, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in here. That's probably a shadow. But you can see reflections going on here from that. And you'll also get your tripod legs in there. But when you're doing a shot like this, let me zoom back out here disable the layer mask. You can see that it's not going to catch my reflection. It's not going to catch the reflection of the tripod either because I'm overloading the inside here with flash power. So it's very rare that you would see other reflections if you do this trick. If you do, you still have to might do some cloning, but that should be fine. So anyways, there we've got a flashy looking uh, picture, but at least the shower is popping. So I could add maybe a little bit more down here in the bottom. I like that a lot highlight that. And this isn't your A-class type shower, but hey, you know, it still looks nice. And I like to do this for all my clients. Now, the next thing out of this is to add in some ambient. So the first thing I do, I have some actions that do this, but the trick is, and not doing the fast flambient that I used in some other videos, I'm going to do a true flambient. Just go to uh, luminosity mode. That's great. And now I'm going to go layer mask hide. Now I didn't like the luminosity on the shower, but I loved it on the tub. Look what it does to the tile when I do that. See, that's all great. And by the way, I start seeing some overlap from my other uh, flash shot. But I'm going to go ahead and I can then remove some of that here with an eraser. Oop, excuse me. I'm going to go back down here, disable that layer, and then just erase off of this guy right here so we don't have that overlapping. Probably didn't matter so much, but anyways, we'll go back to our brush now. You've seen me do this typical flamby. I'm going to use a flow of 10 just to go through this real quick and brush some of that on. Best case for this though would be to use a lower flow. I'm going to drop that down to let's say 7. Use about 7 or 8 is what I use. And of course, then we just brush some of that in there. Now we've got some true ambient light starting to come through on this. Starting to look real flashy on the wall here, so let's add some of that in over here and a little bit more ambient there and we just go ahead and brush in as much as we want got some weird flash stuff going on over here so we'll go ahead and brush that in and by the way here's another little trick too you can see that i've got this weird looking light thing going on here and that's because this uh, luminosity layer is having a hard time with the real harsh light that came in from there if i can save it on this flash layer i would but it's just too overloaded so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another little trick here and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that layer. I always do this real quick. Sorry if this runs a little bit too fast. I'm going to change that mode of the layer underneath to normal. See how that changed that? But I don't want the full layer mask, so I delete that layer mask, layer mask, hide, boom. All that I did, though, was duplicate my ambient layer and add a layer mask to it. And then where I see the problems like this, I go ahead and I use my brush and I just brush that in. And that's usually good enough and avoids that. Now, nobody may ever see that. I would, so that would bug the crap out of me. So let's go back to our luminosity mode, though. Once again, anything else that we want to change here? Yeah, maybe uh, change a little bit more, uh, add some more luminosity in here with our ambient. There we go. That looks pretty good. And that's the idea. So once again, using Flambient to kind of bring that in. We had a little bit of sunlight coming on the sink. That was neat. A little bit more shadow down here. And once again, I had a little bit of a failure down here from uh, too much flash. So using our repair layer, which was just a duplicate of our ambient, I'll just brush that little piece in right there. There's a lot of ways to do that. You've seen me do that in other tutorials. But anyways, for this, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do the window pull real quick. I'm going to take that up to the top. Layer mode is darken. And I just go layer mask hide and then add a brush at 100% opacity, excuse me, 100% flow. I'm just going to go ahead and brush that in. And now we've got some window pull going on here. So instead of just completely blowing out windows, probably didn't need to do it for this bathroom, but hey, why not? Now let's just do one last check on the ambient. Anything else I want to do? You know what? I can still make this look a little better. So I'm going to add in some more ambient. So let's go take our brush. We'll use a 10% flow just to really get things going here. So that'd be a shift one, changing my flow. And then we'll add in some, a little bit more shadowy stuff here. A little bit more light was coming in here from the window on that. I like that. Sometimes, you know, if you have too much ambient, it's really going to be too harsh shadow. So you have, a, have to work on a balance. Now that's not looking too bad. So what I would do next is I go layer, flatten, and then save it. That's all you have to do. Now it's back in Lightroom. 
Okay, and then I would add one of my presets. And probably for this one, I would go with just my light bump with no verticals, which all that it did, you can see over here, reduced some of the highlights, uh, brought up the shadows, increased the whites and the blacks. Now, since this has so much white, I'm gonna see if I can increase the blacks a little bit, maybe up the clarity just a tad. And then that's not looking too bad. We'll bring back some of the highlights out of that. And then uh, also maybe see what happens yeah, increasing the white. So that's not looking too bad. So that's what we have compared to our original shot, which was just uh, a very boring ambient or a way too flashy picture. But by adding in then that shower pop, we got this result. Now that might be a little too much, so you could always go back and reduce that amount of shower pop that we added, but that's the idea behind it. Let's move on to the second example. So this was a nice bathroom, did this just recently, and not looking too bad. I mean, it might even be a deliverable shot, just, and that's just the ambient. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my corrections. Those look pretty good. I might have to do some adjustments, and that's where Lightroom doesn't still do this all very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my verticals just a tad. And we'll just adjust it right about to there, I think. So just, it was just added one, probably just a small knit, not a big deal. And that I like, so I'm gonna go ahead, develop settings, copy settings. And the reason, once again, why I do this, it's not just for the white balance, but this guy's way overexposed. He's a little bit too much. So what I wanna do is I wanna tone down the highlights a little bit and just drop the exposure just a tad. And I like that better. That's gonna be more realistic compared to my flash frame. In fact, it still might even be a little brighter than my flash frame, so let's bring that down just a tad more so that's looking more realistic now i can take the other frames and do then copy those settings but let me show you what they are first here we have our flash standard boring you can see i've got a nasty reflection going on right here already if the door was open i'd probably have all kinds of reflections of me and the tripod um, i do by the way leave doors open if i can a little bit um, so that you can see better inside. You'll always see better no matter what you do if you have obviously no glass door there and now for the tricky part and here you can see me, I'm standing up against the wall and my belly's sticking out there. It's starting to show my age. It's not a flattering pose of me whatsoever. And then over here, maybe this is a little more flattering of me, but you can see what I did because I can't get in there enough, so I took two different flash shots of the shower. This shot is for this side of the shower over here, and then this one is for the other side. So let's go ahead and take those pictures and we'll right click on them, develop setting and paste settings. Now we'll take all four, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And it's a pretty simple thing to do, and you can see I'm just holding a, a simple speed light. It was just a YN360, a Yang Nuo. Cheapo speed light, cost you about 60 bucks. I've got a cactus trigger on the bottom of it. Very typical for one of my portable uh, uh, triggers that I use, and I'll be covering too in a video more detail on some of that. But there's other videos uh, near the beginning of this channel uh, on this uh, list that uh, will have more information on that and some other pictures of it. Anyways, here we go. We've got the standard flambient thing going on here with our ambient at the top. We've got this nasty flash shot. So what I'm going to do is start moving these were down here. If you look up, I'm doing on the layers here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move those. Those are our flash pops. I'm going to move those right between the ambient and the, uh, the standard flash base. So now I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna go layer mask hide and I'm going to start brushing him in over here. And that's where he was. So I've got once again a brush, he's at a 10% flow. And you can see that's starting to pop. That's starting to look real nice. Got rid of that nasty reflection that was in there. Looking pretty good. We'll take the other guy, which was here for the other side, layer mask hide, using a 10% flow and we just start brushing that in too. And you can see what that does. That's starting to look a lot better. That's getting rid of those reflections. You're still gonna have some reflections. Like look at here, you can see the toilet, no matter what, is reflecting into that shower. And that's with or without that flash pop frame. So there's not much that we can do to that. So anyways, that's about where that is. So not much, once again, that we could do to that, but I'll go ahead and just continue brushing him in to get some more going on here. And that's looking pretty good, not too bad. Okay, now for our ambient, we'll go ahead and turn this into a luminosity mode. See how that looks, zoom out, yep, too much. And we'll go layer mask hide. And then we'll just add in with a low flow brush, just a little bit of luminosity in places that'll make this look more realistic. You can see in the mirror, we want some of that. Um, probably not so much in the shower, doesn't do anything, takes away from our pop, but just a little bit over here, over on the wall here, 
um, it's where we get natural shadow and light coming in there. So that's what we do there. Then once again, just layer, flatten, and save that. And then when we go back to Lightroom, we've got that picture now loaded up and apply one of our bumps. I'll do the, uh, the no vert once again, or I can see what it does with trying to another vertical. Didn't really change it much. So that's good. I'll probably uh, once again decrease those blacks a little bit. I uh, like to remove the highlights out of this one. Um, but for the most part, I do like what I'm seeing here. So that would be then the uh, deliverable product. So once again, to review what we had, we had uh, just a very boring ambient shot. Didn't really do much for the shower. Showed that it was there. Um, we had then a flashy shot, which, yeah, it gave us true colors. It sharpened things up a bit. But look, it's still dull inside the shower. And you've got this nasty reflection going on. So we went ahead into shot number one, shot number two. We've got that shower. We blend it all together. And then, of course, we've got this. And that's all there is to it. It's really just a matter of adding in some extra frames that add some pop, this, uh, some flash pop into that shower. Now, if you've got a shower and you can hide a flash in there, sometimes I'll use a Yang Nu at about an eighth of a power, um, and it adds just enough flash to kind of add some light coming off of the walls inside the shower, which then reduces the reflection that's coming off the glass. And maybe I'll show another tutorial on where I do that if I come across one where I've, I've got enough footage from a shoot where I can show that. But for the most part, you just take a speed light, you just pop in off the ceiling a little bit of extra flash and you can help really reduce those reflections make that shower pop and you add in as much as you want out of that too so you can overexpose it a little bit sometimes what i do and so you know i'm not using a cam ranger on this i'll just go ahead and real quickly yeah quarter power poof half power poof and then i go back i've got enough footage then to choose from later it takes one second to take each picture you can do all three settings or four settings go from an eighth to a quarter to a half power on your young new and just keep flashing boom 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 and you've got those frames and you'll be able to then have some stuff to blend in later. Anyways, I hope this was useful for you, and I hope that you can use some of these techniques on your photography as well. If you did find this useful, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and as soon as one of these videos is posted, you'll be the first to know. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, and get out there and shoot something.